Well, it is a lot of farm animals. It's, uh, you know, um, I have always had animals. Uh, my dad was a medic in the, in the Air Force, and so when any animals were hurt, um, they, they brought the, the dogs and the cats and the squirrels and whatever was hurt for my dad to fix. And we lived on a farm, and so we had chickens and ducks and geese and, and of course, dogs and cats. And so it's just always been a part of my life. I have four dogs and a cat right now. When I started painting with encaustics, it really um, begged to be treated this way. How do you create your pieces? Oh, you know, I take pictures a lot of the time. Um, some animals like chickens and, and dogs, I can just draw and paint on my own. But in the encaustics, you um, it start with a form on the board, so you sort of are committed to that form, whether it's a rooster or a chicken or, or a highland cow. I just make things up sometimes, but most of the time I go from pictures. You've been working on encaustic uh, all the time since you started doing art, or you start first with, you will say, uh, acrylics or? Well, I've been painting with acrylic for about 30 years, um, and encaustic for six. And uh, I've been teaching both for about 25 years now, where I started with the acrylics. And I teach five classes a week and yeah, for a 10-month period. And um, um, it's just evolved. Everything evolves because, because I teach. I learn different techniques to teach them. So, so you would say now encaustic is your, kind of your passion? Do you know it is, um, I love doing acrylics because I like the satisfaction of when it turns out well. Um, but when I do the encaustic, it's so much fun. Uh, I just giggle at the end of it because it's, it's fun to do and, and I rarely get annoyed. <laughs> Maybe also your uh, uh, subject matter is they are fun too, right? So. It is, and it has to be, and, and I don't think that I can do something that wasn't making me happy. I, um, it, it shows when you are cranky with something, and, and I love to do this. It's, and I love the feel of it. I love, I love to see what it looks like in the end, and you're never really sure what's, what's going to come out of it. In this piece behind you, I see some pieces of, uh, or maybe it's one piece only of uh, some writing there. So, can you talk about this? It, it's a piece of uh, a 1929 ledger, and it, um, I just found it on the floor and I picked it up and put it in. <laughs> and, and that's it. Um, this medium allows you to put lots of things in your. Uh, embedded into your wax or you can screw it into the wood. Um, it's a great medium for mixed media. So do you do that in every piece or just in... No, just sometimes. And sometimes it calls for something as part of the composition. That's why you see a number in there every once in a while. And that's probably why you see this little piece of paper. Um, but um, I like history too. I, I really like the history and that's why I've got that in there too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.